so hey guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to tell you how you can fix black screen issue the first thing you have to do is as you know this game came out today there are some driver updates as well for this game and few other games as well if you have nvidia graphic card then you have to download this geforce experience app and if you have amd graphic card then you have to download this amd radeon software so which will update your graphic drivers so as i have nvidia graphic card i will download this the next thing and that you can do is you can open your nvidia control panel so here you can go to program settings and here you can add your game but as you can see i have gta 5 added here so i will show you on this you have to do the same thing you have to just add your game from here you can browse the game like this so you have to go to cuda gpus here this will be selected use global settings so these settings might use your integrated graphic card which comes with your processor or if you don't have one it might only use your processor to run the game which will create issues as well so you have to select use these gpus specifically and select the main graphic card dedicated one that you have so as you can see i have 1050 ti i have selected this and you have to click on okay so there are many issues in which uh, people are having 20 uh, 2000 series graphic card or 3000 series graphic card but are getting only 20 30 fps so this will fix that and you have to click on apply now if you don't have this issue and still your fps are low you have to go to adjust image settings here you have to go to use my preference emphasizing and you have to drag this to performance and you have to click on apply this will also help increasing your performance but it might reduce some quality of your windows like you can see the text and all it might reduce a little bit but it might give you more fps in the game so now some other things that used to glitch with the game and cause stuttering so the first thing that you have to search is you have to search for game mode so earlier i used to tell people that game mode should be turned off because it used to create problems but now with the latest windows update it is quite optimized so you can just turn it on and it will help you help your game because it will optimize the other apps that are running in the background and it will also help you with the memory which this game requires a lot so you have to keep it turned on the next thing that you have to do is you have to open this graphic settings here you can see this this is a great option to increase your performance and fps and reduce your latency as well so you have to turn this on you have to restart your pc after this then only it will work you have to go to this desktop app and you have to browse your game here for example i am adding gta 5 here like this you have to do it like this and you have to click on high performance here you can see your graphic card we did the settings as well here also so only this option is coming this is your graphic card you have to click on save now this is high performance every time you turn this game on it will run on high performance one more thing that you can do the same thing you have to go to task manager your game should be running in the background when you are doing this so for example i am having gta 5 here uh like this is my game this is days gone okay so i have to put this to high performance so there used to be an option of setting priority so you can do that as well but this is a, is a better option because this will always do this and in high performance mode what will happen is your game whenever you run it uh, the all the other uh, applications in the background they will get less resources and the game will get more resources which will help in increasing your fps so you should keep it like this and you have to restart your pc as well for this option to take effect the other thing you can do is you can search for power settings here you have to click on high performance go to change plan settings and you have to go to change advanced power settings as well and then here you have to go to processor power management and the minimum should be 100 so with the latest update it's always 100 but if by chance it's not 100 you have to keep it on 100 as well and this is obviously 100 by default so these settings also you can do now what you can do is you can press windows plus r key type here percentage temp percentage and you have to delete all these files press control plus a shift plus delete and skip the files remaining so you can do this so i hope this video helped you thank you for watching and have a nice day